All right, Ken Workington, thank you very much. And we are sitting on a huge weekend here at Meadowlands Racing and Entertainment coming up. But we're always very excited to welcome in our special in the sulky guest tonight. It is the head honcho of Preferred Equine, Mr. David Reed. Dave, thanks so much for being with us tonight. And I just want to say this, on behalf of all of us here at the Meadowlands, we really thank you for being such huge supporters you know, of our racing program and sponsorships as well, including uh, that little thing, that starting gate. Uh, who came up with that idea? Yeah, our mutual friend, Sam McKee. Uh, it's one of the things we talked about before, trying to generate some ad, you know, different type of advertising in our sport, follow the NASCAR theme a little bit, and uh, he called me up to ask me to sponsor something that I wasn't really a big fan of, and uh, we said, listen, come back to me, I want to help you. And we came back with a starting car idea, and that was, that was Sam's idea. Okay, that certainly was, and it's worked out great. You get to hear it each and every night as yeah. Ken Morganton rolls the field uh, up uh, to yeah. the gate here. Now, the reason you're sitting here tonight, uh, part of Meadowlands Pace Weekend, Crawford Farms Meadowlands Pace Weekend, is the big Tattersalls mixed sale that you're going to have in the paddock here at the Big M on Sunday afternoon here. Uh, so tell everybody what time does it start, how many horses you have cataloged, and uh, what the general feeling is about the, the, the stock that you're offering. Yeah, sale starts at 12 noon on Sunday in the back paddock over here. We have 126 horses in the main catalog. We picked up 18 for the supplement. And, uh, you know, I really believe it's a racehorse sale. We may not have any, you know, a ton of six-figure horses, but we have horses racing from everywhere. I think there's over 90 horses that have raced in the last 10 days. There's 20 horses in the box between tonight, tomorrow morning, and tomorrow night. And uh, there's been 15 winners that are selling tomorrow, or selling Sunday, that have won over the last 10 days. Okay, that's definitely good. So you're right back in the box here right if you're going to show up yep. and uh, stuff like that. Now, I picked out a few after doing my research, and then we'll let you talk about a few. Let's start. I saw a lot of horses in from the Burke Brigade trainer, Ron Burke, here. I saw a nice trotting filly uh, by the name of D-Bomb. Did she uh, catch your eye? She sure does. She's dual eligible. She's eligible with Kentucky MPA. She's actually owned by Bill Donovan. Uh, you, know, you know, Burke does a great job, Ronnie does, in his whole operation. You know, we all know he's a leading trainer in the sport, number of starts, number of wins, but you know, he always looks for fresh horses, he turns horses over. He's been very successful selling horses that have gone on. Miso Vast, Medusa, horses that compete on a big level. And he's got one here tomorrow night, or uh, it's racing, uh, he's won seven in a row, went at Yonkers the other night, went at Northfield, TJ Blast, ah, seven okay. in a row. And you know, listen, he puts them on the racetrack, he puts them where they compete, and uh, he's offering a lot of nice horse here. All right, I hope the people out there that have their catalogs handy are taking notes uh, and doing <laughs> their homework here because we're going to do some of it for him. I also noticed, look, flipping through the uh, horses that you had available, there's a big Canadian influence here. It's not often we get all these horses down from Canada from guys like Rich Moreau, one of the leading trainers out there. Even Luke Blaze, he's got Hurricane Beach in here tomorrow night, who I think is going to win. So uh, tell us about the Canadian influence. Yeah, so like, uh, you know, a lot of these big owners, Brad Grant happens to own a few of those uh, that you mentioned, and then Determination Stable. They go to the sales, they buy a lot of yearlings, they like to race horses as well. They have to turn their stock over. And, you know, Hurricane Beach just win. And he's going to race here tomorrow night. There's a certain, you know, certain element that I try to pitch is that these guys are managing their stables, they're preparing what to spend in the fall. Maybe they have something in the same class, maybe they just want to get fresh stock. And they're coming, there's like seven or eight coming from Canada. Uh, we got a horse coming from Ohio, the Meadows. Yonkers, Northfield, Saratoga. There's something for everybody, and they've been racing and racing well at their places. Well, one thing's for sure, you're going to be able to pick up whatever size track horse you want, yep. you know, if you can uh, find that uh, to your liking as well. A couple of the uh, names that caught my eye as well, a uh, horse that we've seen here at the Meadowlands for Team Orange Crush, Andy and Julie Miller, Tuan Blue Rex, T-Rex is his nickname. We're going to show you a roll in of him just about a year or so ago. This is July 7th of last year, and this was his lifetime mark, Dave, 151. Yeah, very, very talented trotter and a beautiful horse. Uh, he's staked to uh, all the major stakes coming up in the fall, all the free-for-allers, even, even started right here in uh, Hambo Weekend. Yeah. Uh, so he's, he's definitely a top prospect for sure, absolutely. One of the great series we've had here throughout the winter and into the spring has been the amateur driving series with the Trotters here. And we saw an entrant from uh, uh, Oka Svonsted recently called Tech Titan. This yeah. is a horse that was very good here not too long ago. On June 15th, watch this crushing effort. Yep. What would this you horse, think? This horse is actually in to qualify here tomorrow. Okay. Been a little freshen up a little bit, but here's a horse can fit a lot of programs. You know, the amateur business has really taken off, and I think it's great for the sport. Uh, between the buildings and the and the uh, the gentleman drivers club, those guys like to buy horses. They like to race. I think it's been tremendous for for the sport. And this is a proven horse, a trotter that can be driven in that in that series or can compete on any size tracks. 
lots of horses like that in the sale. Okay, so another stakes place, Trotter Batista. You got that one on your radar? Yep, absolutely, absolutely. And there's like, you know, horses are coming down. You got some age, age veterans that you mentioned before. Fool Me Once is coming down from Canada. Blaine Lee Best is coming down here. You got uh, Home and Dry, Trotter. There's, there's numerous, numerous horses that are going to fall in a price range where it's very affordable to go to your jurisdiction and pick up a horse to race. Okay, now give us a couple of those ones that are flying under the radar. I know you have a few of those. Give, give out a little tip to the people who are looking for that, you know, that diamond in the rough here. I know you have a few, so go ahead. Actually, you know what? I always tell people, look through the updated past performance lines. I really don't like to try a single out horses. The, uh, we distributed those all over the track. They've been on the internet, it's on the equine line. I really think that there's a nice handful of horses in here that would be very useful. Okay, the one question I love to ask you when we do this interview here is now, if you have somebody out there who might be watching tonight that's kind of a newbie to the sport that might want to get involved or think about buying a horse, tell them not to be intimidated, come on out and have some fun. Yeah, actually, definitely come see me, come see Bob Bonney, come see other consigners, meet trainers, and uh, just come on out and do your homework. Just get hooked up with the right people. It's a great sport. More importantly, just do your homework. Yeah, and folks, the sale is open to the public. We're not going to charge you to get into the paddock to just walk around, have a little bit of fun, see some people, see some friends. And Dave, just looking ahead to the future here beyond uh, Sunday afternoon here, you've got a new mix sale coming up this fall in Lexington for us? Yep. So the Lexington Selected uh, Yearling Sale uh, is a joint effort down here in Kentucky, as we all know. And there's been interest in uh, starting a mix sale down there. It's going to be a little bit of a niche market. It's going to be on a Sunday night, a charity night. Okay. And uh, you know, the principals of the company wanted to try it. I think it's going to work well. I'm very excited. And uh, as soon as we get done here Sunday uh, with the sale here, we'll start to work on the next mix sale. All right. Now, you know I can't let you go without getting a little bit of a personal note here. Tomorrow could be a big day for Mr. David Reed as an owner, not necessarily here at the Meadowlands, but over at Belmont. What, what, what's going on? Well, yeah, I don't know about a big day, but it should be a, <laughs> hopefully a nice day. We got a two-year-old homebred that's racing over there in the uh, New York bread race tomorrow. And his name's What the Luck. And uh, maybe we'll have a little luck tomorrow and uh, see what happens. We're, we're running against a Pletcher horse, so he's always tough to beat. Well, he doesn't win every race, and we know you win a lot of races and have a super whole lot of fun about that. Looking forward to Saratoga, as always. Yeah, getting ready. Next Friday's opening day, and uh, we'll put some free burgers on anybody who wants to stop by. So. All right. Well, I might have to take you up on that <laughs> offer. If not next week, then uh, maybe after we close after the Hamiltonian. Sure. Listen, Dave, thanks so much for taking the time. We wish you the best of luck with the sale on Sunday. We wish you the best of luck in that stakes race at Belmont tomorrow. And we'll see. Come on out, folks. Come on out and enjoy what a mixed sale is. You're welcome to come. It is Sunday afternoon starting at noon and goes for, what, about four or five hours. Yeah. Thank you very much for having me, and uh, good luck tomorrow night at Pace. All right. Thank you. Dave Reed, preferred equine, the Tattersalls mixed sale coming up on Sunday. So we're going to take a quick time out here. When we come back, we've got a few Sire Stakes finals to take a look at tonight. Dave Little will join me, and we'll have pick five tickets for that big carryover. So don't go away. We'll be right back after this.